the moment you invest in anything in the world it will rebound as sorrow swami ramatirtha said caught anything other than atman and you will be visited by sorrow so why are you in sorrow because you are quoting everything other than atman plain and simple now we come to titiksha now we are not at that level so what is happening is we are contacting sense objects and we are going through these fluctuations of pleasure and pain heat and cold impermanence so what must we do titiksha titiksha endure it bear with it you know you are not at that level where you can be independent of it at least the least that you can do is don't sit there and cry and grumble and bear with it this is my level i've asked for trouble i've got it now shut up and bear with it that's what he say titiksha is the capacity to bear with difficulties with pleasure with joy with cheer why how is it that you can bear with it with joy is because the pain is eclipsed by a higher joy so what happens is you understand the world is full of pairs of opposites you also understand that you have foolishly created likes and dislikes within your system so when you are when the world presents you with what you like you are happy when the world presents you with what you dislike you are unhappy at that time bear with it endure it because this is your state right now what is the next thing to do rise above it when you rise about let's say the physical ups and downs come to you pairs of opposites from the world at the physical level come to you you rise to the emotional level the physical disturbances don't bother you anymore and that is the capacity of titiksha when your uh, aged parents say um let's say my our servant has gone on leave so i am coming we are coming to spend 15 days with you no son or daughter in india will say sorry please don't come it's inconvenient for me huh or maybe it's coming to that the next generation will say what will they do even if it is inconvenient for them they will wholeheartedly welcome the parents and go out of the way to do things for their parents all of it is painful at the physical level but why do they do it that is called titiksha because the emotional joy is so great that they readily give up their bedrooms for you they they give up so many things for you so that's not a sacrifice when you look at it at the physical level it seems like a sacrifice but the return at the emotional level is so great that you don't even feel the pinch this is necessary if you don't practice titiksha if you don't have the capacity to practice titiksha you will lead a lonely miserable life because it is impossible to get on with anybody something or the other that the other person does will irritate you will inconvenience you so you can't get on with anybody then <laughs>